It's time for all the hits, highlights, and heroes. It's time for Friday Night Blitz, powered by Pikes Peak State College. Yeah, so fresh and so clean. Welcome to the Friday Night Blitz, powered by Pikes Peak State College. I'm your host, Rob Namnum. We begin our prep piggy coverage tonight with the Pigskin Classic featuring Pueblo West and Pueblo County, a rivalry that's been going strong for two plus decades. This year's game was so big that it had to be played at CSU Pueblo tonight. Speaking of CSU Pueblo, we head there and join Jessica Grunling, who took in her very first Pigskin Classic tonight. Good evening, Jessica. <laughs> Hey, Rob, happy to be here. Well, Pueblo County was coming off of a week one win against Pueblo South, so hopes were high, but Pueblo West proved to be too fast and too physical for the Hornets. They couldn't even make it across the 50 yard line until really late into the second quarter. So Pueblo West gets the big win tonight. And we'll take you to those first half highlights. It is our Friday night blitz pick of the week. So we said this game was so big, it was being played at Thunder Bowl Stadium. How about the game ball being flown in on the UC Health Lifeline helicopter, those pilots bringing the ball to the coaches to start the game. And there's what's on the line tonight for a 2-0 Pueblo West team and a 1-0 Pueblo County team, a big trophy to take home. A lightning delay did keep this one from getting started on time, but once it did, the Cyclones off to a lightning fast start. A fumble recovery on the punt gives them good field position and a Jacob Trader does the rest. That gets Pueblo West an early seven to nothing lead. Pueblo County trying to get something going on third and 19. Cohen Glenn looking to pass, but Sage Workman says, I will take that one, thank you. He's going back the other way. Cyclones now up 14 to nothing. Cyclones really couldn't stop the scoring for them tonight. The handoff goes to Trader. He finds a hole and scampers into the end zone. That is a 29-yard run and now a 21-0 lead for Pueblo West still in the first quarter. And for Pueblo County, that offense just really couldn't get going all game long. So into the second now, West going with the ball. Again with the ball, Gavin Lockett dumps it off to Trader. Almost trips, but gets up the sideline and he's off to the races. Have yourself a night, Jacob, his third TD of the half. It is a 65-yard touchdown and the Cyclones were up 28 to nothing. They would take a 35 to nothing lead into the half and West wins this Pigskin Classic. That's where the trophy's staying. The final score here is 41 to seven. We'll send it back to you in the studio, Rob. All right, thank you for that, Jessica. Great job there. Now we shift to the Battle of the Ridges, Mesa and Palmer Ridge. This game had the potential of being a track meet tonight. Last week, the Grizz put up a double nickel on Kennedy, and the Bears put up 35 in their opening week win. For more on the Grizzlies and Bears, we join Danny Mata tonight. Danny, good evening. Hey, good evening, Rob. Yeah, we've got Mesa Ridge, Palmer Ridge. Potato chips have ridges. Star Trek characters have ridges on their foreheads. Grizzly bears, unspecified bears, mass hysteria. This one was a lot of fun. Let's head up to Monument. And there are your Palmer Ridge bears. And there are the Mesa Ridge Grizzlies. And Palmer Ridge getting started. Orlando Aranda. Nice run to the outside here for a first down. He had a great game in this one. And later, Dylan Coyle with a one yard touchdown run. 7 0 Palmer Ridge after a Mesa Ridge fumble. Coyle gets back into the end zone, makes it 14. 18 to nothing. Back comes Mesa Ridge though. Trey Salas with a touchdown run. Mesa Ridge down just 14 to seven. That's as close as they would get as the generic Bears, led by KJ Smedley with that pick. Hold on to win this one, 28 to seven. Harrison and TCA. TCA wearing special Z8 decals on their helmets in honor of late deputy Andrew Peary, who was killed in action last month. Zebra 8 was a call sign. We don't show many punts on this show, but when we do, they're worth it. Jake Jennings, one of the best in the country, down to the one yard line. He's fired up. Harrison would punt on defense. Jordan Davis Voss with a sack for Harrison, but too much from the Titans. Ethan Aragundi, Aragundi, uh, into the end zone for the touchdown. Titans win this one by a score of 44 to nothing. I gotta tell you though, Rob, it was really impressive watching Mesa Ridge and Palmer Ridge in that 4A game. I think 4A is pretty deep this year in this city. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun games to watch this year. All right, and who knew Star Trek characters had ridges in their foreheads? I don't know how you knew that. All right, on to Vista Ridge last week. The prolific Wolves offense scored 43 points in their opening loss, but man, 
if the Wolves can score 40 each week, they're going to go far this season. Speaking of far, the Wolves hosting far northeast tonight. First quarter, Braden Dorman. Oh, this is the best tandem in high school football. Brandon Hills, he does the rest. You're not going to catch him. Scores, ties it up at seven. How about a little Wolves defense? JoJo Garnett, that's a stick. Love to see that from their D. Dorman. Hands it off to Solomon Arns. Volt takes it up the gut, and he scores. 13-7 Vista. Move to the second quarter. Dorman handing it off to Nashon Hill. Hill, house call. Vista wins 43-28. All right, they were ready for the home opener tonight in Florence as they took on Centauri. Ah, uh, the Huskies off the kickoff. Gage Goodall, he is gonna find a hole, and Gage Goodall, oh, he's good. Look at him go. The, yeah, looking back to make sure there's no one from the Falcons there, and that's a score. And then how about a little two-point conversion here? Goodall to Xavier Martinez, and that's good. Fans, they were pumped up, as always, at Husky Stadium, one of the best venues in high school sport and how about Lincoln Knicks putting it in Huskies victorious tonight by a count of 29 to 7 coming up on the Friday Night Blitz find out if Doherty could slow down the dynamic duo at quarterback for Rampart tonight plus we'll hand out the Friday Night Blitz Spirit Award stick around <laughs> 